my name is Chukwemi Kaikuru. I'm the IT operations manager at Kingmakers Limited. So Kingmakers is the owner of the famous uh, brand Bed King. Um, Bed King is into sport betting and uh, entertainment generally. And um, the business is um, in four African countries at the moment and looking to expand across uh, other countries in the African continent. My team, the corporate IT team, basically ensures that all the kingmakers, as we call them, or blue bloods, uh, keep working. Uh, they have all the necessary IT tools that they require to uh, execute their functions. One of the key things is competence, right? So but how do you measure competence? How do you know that a, part a partner is competent? You have to look at what they have. It, it can be certifications, right? It can be um, certain standards that they've um, subscribed to. For example, you have the different um, ISO standards, you have the different certifications that some of the OEMs have to give their partners. So we go for the best of the best and we also go with those that have experience within the space that we want to grow into when we are looking to expand our data architecture, right? So we are looking to um, get more into data insights, which is what our business is built around, customer insights. In our line of business, it's important for you to know how your customers are reacting, what's happening. So we did a lot with data. So if we want to make that decision, we have to look at a company that is certified in that space, who have expertise and who have people who are also certified in that space. Our journey with rugby um, started um, around 2020. We had to look out look in the market to see who are the partners who we are going to be able to deal with, who are also grounded. And we are also looking at the partner who can support us with our infrastructure when we eventually decide to expand on that project. So rugby was a natural choice. Rugby is the only MSP certified um, company in Africa. And it's not just about Nigeria, for example. We are also looking at who can support us across our journey in Africa. So rugby was a natural choice. From account management point of view, I think we have the best account manager out there um, in the business. So we have somebody who has um, been with us since the very beginning, understand all our core requirements and knows how to get in all the stakeholders within rugby when we have issues. So I think that, that has been the key thing, right? That is working. Then also the fact that we have different individuals within the um, business who are very knowledgeable in the technologies we want to deploy, be it cloud infrastructure, email security, um, you know, collaboration to, you know, modern workplace, anything that we've um, tried to deploy in the past uh, two years, we've always had people who are knowledgeable who can come in and educate the um, the technical staff and also the end users. We've also had workshops um, that the company has organized which help to, as in deepen the knowledge of some of the collaboration tools that we've deployed for the business and that education piece involved also end users. So I think that's one of the good things that um, we've um, benefited from rugby. That's technology adoption. One of the pillars of our business is customer insight. We need to know what is happening. We need to see the metrics. So we are building out a large you know, data architecture and infrastructure to support that part of the business. And rugby has been key in providing um, the necessary skill set to advise us on what to deploy, how best to go about it, you know, with um, also reaching out to the OEM in terms of um, what are the things that we need to get on board. So I think uh, rugby has really done well for us in that aspect. Our partnership with rugby has been rewarding. Most especially is rugby has um, helped us a lot in terms of how we've been able to solve some of the main pain points we had. And also our decision to go with a certified partner has really helped us as a business.